Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this all in one take, um, which is why I've already got this screen recording loaded up here. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to guarantee open that when you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is, on your PS3 or your Xbox, but I've got um, PS3, is you come across to your network settings, and go settings and connections list. Now, what you've got is, um, as you can see, I've got a wired connection. That's the first thing you're going to want to do if you can. Um, the things you want to look at are your IP address, you need to check, and also you're going to want the MAC address. So you want to write them down or take note of them. Not mine, yours. Um, and you'll see down the bottom here, UPnP. That's basically the problem. The UPnP code for Black Ops, from what I gather, is kind of shit. Um, so if, if it was good, then everyone, or well, almost everyone, would have open that without having to actually do anything. Basically, um, what we're doing is not port forwarding. Uh, it's a bit easier than that, and it basically bypasses UPnP altogether. And if you don't know, UPnP is universal plug and play. Um, so now that you've taken note there, you, no, not your trash, <laughs> you bring up your browser and you want to go to your router, which you'll see here, that's probably what your um, IP address is going to be for it. So if you just type that in, or more simply, if you just type in that, you will probably get to your router. Now, it may vary for your router, but um, yeah, as you can see, I've got a Netgear router. Um, I've got to get used to doing this with my pointer, not with my hand, because I'm recording my face as I'm recording the screencast. So, yeah. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to what on my router is called LAN IP setup, which will be the same for all Netgear routers. I'm sure there'll be something similar if um, you've got a different router. Uh, now, what we've got is down the bottom here. I've already done it, but I'll, I'll show it to you. It's, it, it's called address reservation. It basically means um, I'll hit add and... Um, what it basically does is it stops your PS3 from shifting IP addresses. Um, you can see there's a list of things here. That's my laptop, MacBook Pro. <laughs> um, you know, that's something. Might be the PC. Actually, no, that's probably the Foxtel. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole bunch of different things, and you can just pick it, and it puts everything in for you, and you name it, whatever. Um, and I'm feeling free to show you these IP addresses because my IP is masked on the way out. Um, so basically, yeah, that's what that looks like. And um, you pick one or you put it in manually. This is where you get, you, you know, you put your IP there and the MAC address there of the PS3. Or, you know, you use those to recognize here. You set it and you press add. I'm going to press cancel because I've already done it. And then here you've got your PS3 with its reserved IP address. So nothing else will ever fill that IP address, which is important, because what we're essentially going to do is bypass the firewall. Um, so now we'll go to firewall rules, and what you can see is it's this one here at the top. I've already done it. Um, now what we want to do, th this is rules for you know traffic that's allowed and traffic that's blocked and traffic that's allowed under certain circumstances. Uh, basically, um, what we want to do is all traffic going to and from the PS3 um, which, as you can see, the final digits of the IP address was um, 70. Uh, so we'll go add. So we want to allow all services, because you can set you know, particular services to al be allowed or blocked, and then we want to always allow them. It's, just, it's the easiest way to do it. You could you know, do it manually and have a whole set of rules for all the different ports that it does use. Uh, then you put in the IP address of the PS3, which we now know ends in 7. Zero. I can't remember the rest of it, um, and then yeah, all stuff externally to be allowed, and then we have this here, and now you're done. Excuse me. Now basically, all, all any traffic is going to be allowed to the PS3. Um, nothing's going to be blocked by the firewall and the router, but there's not much that the router needs to block for something like a PS3. So that's also why you want it. You want to give it a static IP so that you don't start sending unmeted, not unmeted, um, unrestricted traffic to something like a PC. I mean, on a Mac it might not be too bad, uh, but on a PC that can be quite dangerous. 
So that's it. Um, if you've got a different router, this might vary a little bit, but um, if you just start clicking through all these different stuff here, um, you should find what you need. I hope this has helped you get open NAT. It'll also give you open NAT and whatever networking for everything you do on the PS3, every game, anything and everything. I hope this has helped you, and um, good gaming.